Oh yeah, we need to restock rocket shields for the next clear to find. Against me here, or that's just coincidence. Yeah, who needs stalling? shape really draws my eye do you think it's natural formation or maybe mm? ah. no it's you there's no better traveling tree than beautiful scenery it really re revitalizes your soul interested in my painting process are you i'm fascinated by that small island up there i made it my goal to capture that distinct shape on canvas can we take a picture of that one i don't remember ah. Uh, ever since the upheaval, the sky has been filled with floating islands. But none has caught my fancy so much as that exquisitely shaped one there. I can't quite explain it, but it feels as though it's speaking to me somehow. Hmm. Uh, what's on that distinctly shaped island? My imagination is running wild. Mm, let's check up here. remember the name but I don't remember who you are oh what is it don't tell me you and I are in the same line of work you're looking for treasure aren't you me too the outfits just the outfits just so I could infiltrate the zone I survey team without attracting suspicion I thought I give it give me access to some treasure leads but it turns out that they don't just hand those out worse yet they put me on dangerous investigations what a rotten look well, I suppose you could resign. Oh, that's still here. Forest Falls, Learning Village, and Far on Grasslands. Yeah, I actually forgot about that. Lake of the Horse God. That still has this name. Uh. Well, unless somebody sends me here, can we get new Euro uh, Stallions if we didn't have from the first game or lose the one? Oh, you call me humming in the tune I wrote, Frantic Dance of the Firefly. Oh. Uh, my name is, the name is Eric. I'm a free spirit who travels where the wind blows me. Once upon a time, anyway. Uh, a while back, during one of my windswept days, I got lost in a sea of trees, starving. I fell to the ground. When I regained consciousness, I was in an otherworldly place. 
Uh, this is where you're supposed to gasp. Anyway, the sight of the sunset firefly dancing in the moonlight was so beautiful. I thought I had landed in another world. Before the night, I was a free spirit. After, enthralled by the firefly. I setting up a shop in this beautiful place where I met the fireflies. How about it? Want to see my fireflies? I'll buy. Uh, fireflies. I have Would you have that if I, uh, they weren't being made yet? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm good. No. It kind of looks like a generic link. Oh. Ah. Oh, they're okay. Oh. I hope Captain Plexo and the squad are alright, so there's another squad. Oh, hey, uh, things are pretty dicey ahead. Captain Flexo's Monster Control Crew squad is executing an operation there. Ooh. There's a part ship moor moored uh, on the shore of Menot River to the west. The river. But never fear, the Monster Control Crew is on their way to take them out. <laughs> uh, why am I not out there with them? Because I'm here to keep them fed. I'm a cook. In fact, I just threw to get a new recipe while I was holding down the fort. Here, give it a try. My simmer fruit. I had already. Uh, if you're confident in your ability to swing your sword, you should go help Captain Flexo and the others. Very well. The cloud. Oh, it's right up here. Uh, no, but it's on top of the whole. Yeah, the whole forest. Uh, this one didn't show up the night. Long or wide? What's a shop shrine? Okay, that was just practice. Hmm. Okay, maybe needs more plate. was my plan all along. I guess I should just put the weight uh, on the other side and that may have worked. This will hit the ground as well. Yeah. Up, 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 as high as you can, Link. Hmm. 
Uh, now it's the white part. That was cool. Sneak elixir. Just the one. There's two horses around here. Uh, give me my points. Yeah. Hey. No. It's been a while. Have I ah. skipped any? Uh, got some points here up. Yeah. No. Oh, is this a horse? No. Ah. Rumor that a bear. A travelers of the other day about a giant white stallion. They hadn't actually laid eyes on this white horse themselves yet, but they were planning to take the road to the lake of the horse god south of Iso here. I was going there. Search for ah. There aren't many places for a horse to hide there. I hardly leave my work at this table. I'd sure like to see a giant white horse if it exists, but won't this be a quest like the others? Oh, the priest's voice. Oh. Hey there, partner. You're working really hard. Uh, really late, aren't you? Even without wings, you've traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious reported spirit. Mm. Uh, well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. So everybody just knows her voice. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. Mm. For starters, the strange voice crawling from furrow plain to the northwest, night after night after night. Uh, leave the... leave the... At least that's what I heard. I didn't get too close, why not? Mm. Got out of their fast felt like a curse just blowing through the wind on the wind. No sir, not going to think about it. Ah. Anyway, all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. Did the Iga that transformed into Zelda got her voice as well? Uh, they've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner, even if it's a little scary. An eerie voice. Well, you didn't seek it out. Mm. Hey, partner, you're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worry about you, is all. Ah. What I'm saying is, I think we should investigate the story together. Just give me a shout before you head out. Actually, don't shout. We shouldn't talk too loudly. So should I talk to you before? For a place? Ah, right over here. Mm. Uh, pretty great night, is any partner? It's around the, the time the revise has been heard on floor planes northwest. Looks like I'm sight of the night, but she's out, what's she doing? Okay, let's go partner. Oh. Okay, we can do this partner. Let's have for the floor planes to the northwest. Follow me. Hey partner, over here. You can't walk. Mm. Leave the... Uh. Did you hear that, partner? I could see. Uh. 
<laughs> There's a voice, alright. And it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda though? Maybe. But where does it come from? My legs won't move. My wings won't flap. I duck out of here if I could, but I can't. And just where is this unsettling voice coming from? It's close, no doubt about that. It's, it says something about the well, but do people go all the way there and stuff? Leave the first. If no, do you have. Ah, there's a well there. Not do you harm. Leave the arms, leave the arms, if, or if not, I'll do you harm. Hang, hang, hang. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Hang, hang. Fear it not, you stay warm. Huh? Uh, when you get here, do you need something from me? Hmm. Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I never sang a song with those lyrics. Sick the storm, sick the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. Uh, you also heard, if not, I'll do you harm. <laughs> Leave your arms or I'll kill you. <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear not, you'll stay warm. Uh, those are the lyrics I was singing, and if you can, if you put it all together, um, seek the storm, um, seek the storm, um, fear not, you stay warm. Uh, and the song about a cute little fox who is proud of their warm fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here, prettier, more refined. Uh, it sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Lift the arms, I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown in the well every morning. Uh. Uh, they could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Aye. Hey, that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. Can't you come in here? Uh, out of the partner, what did you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? Eh? It's just someone uh, singing in a well. She's just practicing. Uh, I see. Mm. And her voice echoed off the well, the well walls, making it sound like Princess' voice. Acoustics are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. Uh, so the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sense one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for help, partner. Mm. We've worked together to chase eight of these stories related to Princess Elna. There's never time for a break, you know. I better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go ahead and put this on your head. Next time. Oh. So I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. There you go. Yeah, well, next part of the armor. Go ahead. I'll head back to the office and you write this one up. Ah. I better hurt too. We wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. Until next time, partner. Ah. So long. She's still here. I'm going to keep practicing my singing in this well. The echoes are really nice. Maybe I could live here. Then I never have to walk to practice my singing. Uh, but all these weapons are in the way. I don't need them, so take as many as you want. Well, I always have weapons here. If I come. Okay, boom. Oh, this is a reaper. Another one. 
Omni Pulverizer. A water protein smasher. Ah. Uh, it's. Well, if, if it's stronger, let's use that. I like the blade, but I didn't spend one yet. And the challengers. Yeah. You will know, but I suppose you've already seen the horses around the farm grassland. Then, if well, I grew up taming those horses, and I polished my riding skills to their shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me. But these days, putting my riding skills to the test isn't enough. Oh. So, being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me even fa farther. And what is this contest exactly? Oh. Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the cargo of the horse's trailer. Oh. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horsemanship department, why not take a run at my record? How does it work? Huh? challenge here is to go as fast as you can without letting the cargo fall off the trailer. The course takes you one lap around the farm grasslands and don't go trying to enjoy the sights. You gotta get through 10 checkpoints and across the finish line as fast as you can. <laughs> Do well and there will be some funny points in for you. How about it? You wanna... Oh, hang on. Uh -huh. I'll do it. I thought you had a harder bark on you than that. And you have to change your mind. Come back and see. I forgot about that. <laughs> Receive your reward. Hey. Yes, we're right with you. Oh. Like one points uh. reward, reward for ten points. Registration another one. Uh, oh yeah, we need that for the horse. This one, if there's a wild horse catch your fancy, please bring it to us. Save three more points. Uh. I'm gonna get a nice saddle with nice bridle. Uh, we appreciate your patronage. Yeah, that was good because if I find the horse, I'll oh. need it. It's new to the machine, let's do it. Mm. Oh shoot, fella, you can't enter a horse race without a horse ride. Go mount up and come back to me when you're serious. Okay, but do I need to change its equipment or will you change it for me? Oh. I bought the horse here so you could take part in certain ride, did you? Now we've got a towing harness as well. Alright, looks like we're all set to go. Just double checking, you'll do one. Yeah, let's do. Ah. Wait, just a little matter of the entry fee. That'll be 20 rupees. Here we go. Alrighty then, let's get get ready. Mm. First, connect your horse to the trailer like this. Next, we take a wooden box and put it on the cart. I'll leave it. Uh, there we go. Everything's sorted. Ah. Hmm. Oh, it's an op It's open. Now then, time for me to do some explaining. Oh. It's, you gotta do one lap around this ferry, and you can let the cargo fall out the trailer along the way. Oh, and there are no wheels. Uh, there are 10 checkpoints out or told and you can cross the finish line till you pass through every one of them. So clear the 10 checkpoints and then high tail back here. Simple, right? Mm. Be warned, if the cargo falls off your trailer, you fail. And no getting off your horse during the race either. Okay, otherwise I could try to glue them together. Do well and there's spawning points in it for you. How many depends on your time? Oh. So I can do this as many times as I want to get more points. Best time is 1 minute and 0 seconds. Exactly. And I think it can be that. Oh. That's it for the rules. Now then, you ready to give it a go? I'm ready. Mm. To start, try doing lap 1 minute 30 without dropping any cargo. No, 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 you turn too much. You turn too much. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, looks like your loads damage. Damage. Just scratch. I come back this way. 
Hmm. You <laughs> let your cargo go damage. What's a big idea? You can finish this year contest if you can keep your cargo in one piece. I got no choice but to disqualify you. Oh. Now go break the record. Just be sure to keep your load in good condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try again. Let's do it. And ah. uh, fee. Here we go. Alrighty, let's get ready. Uh, run down the rules. No need. Ah. Uh, let's get him. Horsemanship. Blah, blah. Mm. Okay. I was paying attention to the crate. Maybe I should just pay more attention to the horse being on the track. Oh. Turn too much. Okay, we're not in it. Oh, there. Oh. You made it. And broke a record. Your time was 55. Uh, call me confounded. You beat my record. And the way you rode, it was like you and the horse were one and the same. I've never seen anything like it. As promised, here's three twenty points. You can stand up tall and take pride in the fact you gave it a go. Okay. Oh. Uh, and not only did you beat the target time, you also beat my record. If it's only right, I reward this feat with a little extra something. Here, I got three point points for you. Huh. I want to give you Thanks. Well, well, thanks for today. It was a pleasure to see you and your horse run. Consider giving it a go again when the mood strikes. Mm, probably never again. There's no need for it. Okay, let's make my horse face here. Uh -huh, yes, I'll be right with you. Like okay, point points, 23 is nice saddle and nice saddle. Uh, Hyrule Knights favored this saddle. Only the most elite among them were allowed to outfit their mounts with it. Ah. A nice bridle, here we go. Hyrule really Knights nice. once outfitted their horse with this bridle. It boasts additional armor in pro to protect the horse's head and neck. Does improve my horse's health because you can't see its health anyway. Now to continue, uh -huh. for 26 points, you get an extravagant saddle. Uh, this ornamental saddle is used in festivals. Uh, the delicate embroidery and arrangement of gems leaves a less impression. It's perfect for those who want to stand out. Oh. It comes with the extracted bridles, so here's that as well. Most often used in festivals, this gem of a bridle is decorated with some charming little feathers. It's great for adding just a splash of color to any horse. Save up for just four more points. Ah. Oh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. Great. We appreciate your patronage. Uh, I'll check my horse shortly. Let's see. Let's check people here. Oh. Yes, this whole sir. I can tell you about the area if that's what you were after. Ah. We have lots of happy horses roaming free around Highland Stables. So if you need one, you are in the right place. Then you can take it north or south or wherever you feel like going. 
I can recommend some scenic spots to this if you like. Scenic spots? Great, let's get scenic. My first suggestion it has to be this table nearby. It's called Lakeside Stable. You'll find it if you take the road toward the east at the edge of Lake Floria. From there, my next suggestion is nearby. Go farther east to turn south at the ocean and you reach a resort town. Learning Village, it's called. The perfect place for weary travelers looking to relax. Do you know what's going on there? Wait, what am I thinking? We got word the other day that pirates attacked Learning Village. Since then, I haven't heard a peep about the town's fate. So, what I said about Learning Village being a good place to relax, scratch that. I got plenty more scenic spots to recommend, just say the word, lay them on me. Alright, here's a location that's been a mystery long as anyone can remember. A good spot for true adventure. Reach it first to reach it first right north until you enter a thick wooded forest. Then travel east until you cross Florida River. Uh, and there go immediately north into the rainforest. Tracoso Lake and uh, River. You will find yourself or uh, what folks have long called the Zona Ruins. Very old ruins. Very old. I can't manage a better place for us Tapping yourself in nature's beauty and ancient history at the same time. And the air above the zona ruins is a jet black thundercloud that's been there since the upheaval. You can see it from here, in fact. And I see some. Am I seeing things or is there something inside the clouds? And that's a great scenic spot to visit as well, or you would be. There's no horse that can get, up, get you up there. The best you can do is gaze at it from below. Ah. I got um, more scenic spots to recommend, lay down with me. Ah. Okay, my third scenic spot is Lake Hylia in the northwest. Your horse shouldn't go in the lake, of course, but you too can take a thrilling ride across the bridge of Hylia. They say a monster was living on the bridge for a time, but some brave monsters later send the beasts to an eerie early grave, but don't they respond? <laughs> Uh, who the person is or where they come from, I don't know, but if I could, I give them a hearty thank you. Ah. Can't play more sync. Play on ah. me. Alright, ready? I said my favorite scenic spot for less. Though it's uh, uh, kind of big to be called a spot, is the southern coastline. <laughs> Picture this you and your horse riding from Martha's Landing to Como Shoreline, and then Puffer Beach. You hear the waves lapping against the beach. You feel the cool sea breeze cutting through your clothes, while your horse's hooves pound faster and faster against the ground. <laughs> uh, there's nothing better. On a horse, you'll be able to outrun any monster that spots you too. Except last time I rode to Puffer Beach, there was a swarm of flying monsters waiting for me. They came screeching out out of a cave in the ceiling of this rocky area, really caught me by surprise. I'm not a flying thing ologist, but I guess uh, they were nesting there. Anyway, those things can move as fast as horses, so watch out for them. Ah, so kids can get you up on horses. <laughs> and that concludes my guide to all the six spots. I hope you enjoyed. Aww. I had a couple customers recently who weren't interested in any of my recommendations, can you believe that? They said they were headed south toward the Lake of the Horse God and didn't have time for the tours. Mm -hmm. I believe they wanted to find the giant white stallion or the hot God of Horses. Ah. Anyway, I appreciate you taking an interest in my six spots. Come talk to me again anytime. Is that bit yeah. of... Well, all the folks to run into face must be hard at work here. Sa, sa. Eh, what time you? What you got? <laughs> mm -mm. No. Thanks for business, now. Ah. Mm. Pirates strike a uh, pristine ocean resort. Oof, pirates in an ocean resort? This has to be the village way down in the southeast, I think. The village has been plundered following a formidable pirate attack. Survivors are left with crushed Hopes. Uh. I knew it. Those poor people. I hadn't thought about it before reading this article, but I guess it makes sense that the pirates might attack an ocean resort. Okay. Ah. 
If I should come here, then I'll see that first. Come on. Oh, that's a cave? This is a well. Uh, no. Highlands, they were well. There are plenty of rocks here. Let's mark that here. Blade, great. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Damage. One more hit. Hmm? That's your water? Broad surge. Now it's discovery. Como shoreline cave. 